Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, hi, hi. Can Hello. you hear me? Hello, man. Hi, how are you? Hi. Have fun. All right, good. Hi, today's day. How are you? How's your day today, class? Easy. Yes. What did you do? Did you do anything special today? Uh, um, unfortunately, I employ you. Um, I wake up in the early in the morning when I go to the daughter's schools. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then be back, I'll be back, take her. And a lot of the traffic, right? Oh man, yes. Uh, from Sertrasen, very complicated. Oh yeah, that traffic is from horrible. 11 a.m. Where, where does your daughter study? Four years old. No, where does she study? Where? Yes. Uh, a uh, school, I, I, she's very new there, but uh, Montessoriano is and school. that's near 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 Sertrasen. Yeah, exactly uh, behind Sertrasen. Oh, okay, yeah, the traffic yeah. there is horrible. It's very bad. Yes. And where do you live? Mexicanos. Yeah, I live in Mexicanos. Oh, okay. So you, you go by lamb. So do you take Dangerous lamb? city, man. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. I don't I don't really the know Mexicanos say, the people that say. well. Uh, people say everything is I mean I've been yeah. to places in, in, in Soyapango that are not dangerous. Yeah, it's mo it's most dangerous because I I don't have a river walking on the strip in there, but the Mexicano, I, I need all places. Sacamil is very dangerous, but I walking in there. <laughs> okay. When I was a young, right? And it's your neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I used to expect it. Oh, okay. Cool. Let me see one thing here. Where's the other people? <laughs> I, I'm. I, that's what I'm asking myself too. Where are they? I'm sorry to be late. No uh, worries. Hello. Hello. Hello, Mina. No, no worries. If you're late, don't worry about it. Hold on, I want to see one thing here. I don't know why I cannot put my background blurry. How do you do that? When when you start the yeah the zoom. So the stop video. Oh, in your as, no, as a, the cell the cell sitting. I yeah, I, I, I go to vi vi video settings, right? I remember that there's an option for a blurry background, but I don't have my It shows virtual background. Background, yes, okay, in the virtual, but I, I don't have that option. I I don't have the um I don't know why I don't have the 
I, I don't have the the plan. Yes, I only have four options. I have the beach, the Golden Gate, the moon, some grass, but I don't have the um, blurry background. I don't know why. That's strange. Well, anyway, so remember yesterday, what were we doing yesterday? We were talking about describing a purpose, right? Yes. Do you remember? Who can give me an example? Using infinitives? We use infinitives, yes. Yeah. Remember um, the examples like to go to the United States, you need a visa. Um, to get a job at David Hernandez, which is web help, you need to speak English. Yeah, thank you, Francisco, but I don't have that option. Watch, let me, let me explain. Tell me if you see my background. Do you see my background? Hold on. No. Wait, wait, where am I? No yet. Not yet. No, no, it's not that one. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> it's the other one. Oh, it doesn't let me share the the. the... But watch, look. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you um. Ah, forget it. I don't stop video. Choose virtual background. I don't have that option. Video settings. Okay, look, it says video settings. Mirror my video. Touch up my appearance. Appearance. Adjust low light. That in that part, background in filters. Uh, the, yeah. No, I understand that, but um, in background, I don't have the the blurring option. Option. In filters, video filters. Uh, in video filters, I have none. Zoom, tun, 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 no. Oh, I have I, seven. I, so much options that part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But I remember before I used to have it. So I don't know what happened. Hey, I have a bird. Let me see. Ah, forget this. Maybe I need to update my Zoom. Okay, so uh, let me share. So remember, um, to exp describe a purpose as we use two, an infinitive, and the clause, right? To be or not to be, that is the question. Mm -hmm. Did you read that book? Hamlet from Will and Shakespeare. Oh, it's... it's, it's a, Una frase bien famosa, to be or not to be, that is the question. All right. <clears throat> so let me share the screen now. All right, do you see the screen? Yes. Sir. All right. So um, do you remember, Orlando, why can't Mirna go to the party Saturday night? Remember why, why, can't she, why can't she go to the bar Saturday night? Do you remember? Because nope. she needs uh, her ID. But, but use a purpose. 
You need to, and I need a verb. She needs to have her ID. Yeah, she can't go to the bar because she needs to have a do. She needs to have her ID. Her ID, good. She needs to be 18 or over. Oh. Mm -hmm. She needs to, yeah, she needs to be 18 or over until next month. Next month, she will be 18. Um, okay, this is a good question. Mirna, since next month you are 18, do you know what yeah. you need? You do you know what you need to do to get a Dewey? Actually, no. <laughs> you don't know what you need to do? No. All right, who can help her? <clears throat> help her, Kalena. All right, go, Kalena. Uh, you need a, um, a you partida need de nacimiento. To... Okay, you need to get. <laughs> you need to get a uh, partida de nacimiento. How you say partida de nacimiento? Okay, good. Birth. Bar Birth certificate. Certificate. Birth certificate. And, and like I like I said yesterday, you have to go to the bank and pay uh, about ten dollars and and keep the receipt and make appointment. Uh, right now we we have to make appointment at the Dewey Center. I have a question, but isn't the Dewey the first time free? No. Uh, yes. I yeah, think, exactly. I uh, think maybe yes. uh, by June. I don't need to go to the father or mother. Or, Los or, or, mucho. <laughs> really? You, no, your father and mother has to go. Yeah. On both. Really? No. Yeah. No. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> that I don't know. I, I, because I just remember do. that you yeah, are, they need to give a, a, a sign just only for the sign, mm -hmm. and that's why they yeah. go with it. Oh, okay. So, Mirna, but you need your birth certificate and you need to go with your mother and father. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Thanks. Yes, and you need to go to church in the morning before. <laughs> Not an appointment. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, you need to make to an confess appointment. what? You need to make an appointment. That's the most important thing. But that's fast. When you go there, it's like five, ten minutes. But I didn't know that that when you're eighteen, that I didn't know that you have to go with your mother and father. So that's Me interesting. Neither. All right, cool. Okay, so let's listen to this video. Let me share sound. Hi, for you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it.
Ready? Look at the picture of a coffee shop. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Type your suggestions on our discussion box. What do you think El Salvador needs to finish violence? What does El Salvador need to do? To have honest people working in the president. <laughs> no, yeah, okay, good. That's impossible. No. Yes, I know, but no, that's, uh, no, that's could good. be a, a we need to the have best salary is the is the better idea. Like good salary for police? Yeah. I no, no, a better salary or all around the around the, the other worlds. Yeah. I, no, but that's not gonna finish violence. Yeah. Because uh, I in, in this country I have a tens percent or or twenties. A uh, percent of the, the people a uh, low salary. But you know what? You know what? I, they I don't, don't think, have. I, I don't. I don't think salary is the problem because I think people are lazy. I, I consider so, that I, I, maybe if the, the government create a law that uh, every uh, parent uh, send their child to school. And also, they have to uh, get certain level. For example, at least uh, ninth grade. Uh, and if you don't send your kids, or they are working on the street or something, they go to jail or something like that. Yes, you know, Orlando. I lived in San Miguel two years, and I remember um, my best friend. He's an engineer in a mill. Mill is ingenio. And um, the majority of people in San Miguel, they go to Honduras to get workers because many people in San Miguel and, and people that have not studied. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about maybe minuteros. May, maybe they're, they're, I don't know, maybe they, they can be minuteros or something, making very, very little. And the sugar cane, they, they offered, I think, $400. And the Miguelenos, they don't want to work because they say, no, I get that money from the United States. Yeah, so, it's the yeah. San Miguel from the... the I am the, from San never, Miguel. I work yeah, a lot. I never for the, oh, yeah? For yes or no? Is that the, true? I remember that, Jenny. <laughs> yeah, I am from San Miguel. I work a lot every day. No, no, but yes or no? I remember because my, my friend... Some he, case. Yeah. No, he used Some to go, size. They used Some to go size. to, to I, Honduras, I, I, I think. Yes. But, but it's really... <laughs> I know about the There's a lot life. of money in San Miguel, though. Man, I remember <laughs> in Tipuca. I mean, it says, welcome. It's a little, it's a little city, but the big house. Yes, yeah. everybody has a beautiful car and everything. Because everybody uh, immigration immigrated, immigrated, immigrated for the United States. Yes, in my opinion, to to change to finish the violence in El Salvador, we need really extremely strict laws. Yeah. Like really strict laws, like. Like uh, that we have to, to, to complete it. I don't know, complete, complete. Finish? To finish, yeah, because it's like an obligation. I don't know, like if you uh, broke the law, you have to pay a lot of money. I mean, in the, in the United States, it's like, you can no parking in that place because I oh, yeah. five minutes police. Yeah, I don't know. But but you know you know why you okay and that's a good example. Do you know? I'll give an example. My brother he was in Arizona, 
and he was in a cross street. He was in the middle of the desert and the traffic was in red. No car, like you cannot see a car in a distance. So he says, ah, he crossed it. The next day to his email, he gets three pictures, the car, the license plate and his face and $500. And the problem is that if he doesn't pay, he goes to jail. So that's why people, yeah, they respect because they have to pay. <laughs> and my brother, no puede, he, hey, but there were no cars. I'm sorry, but that's the law. You can't do that. And he, so people do that, you know, like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And in every, every corner of the street, there are cameras. Yes, it's true. Yes. Um, also, I, th I think, I um, think, I think we need to implement obligation right, to, to women not to have more, more than two or three babies, depending on your economic situation. Um, situation. Yes, two babies and that's it, sterilize that woman. And that's a very, very big problem because like I told you, my wife, she's a dentist and she told me that in her social year, they had to go and, and inject people to sterilize nobody the women got offended no no my husband will get mad my brother he's a doctor and he told me well this was maybe like 10 years ago that um no maybe more who was the last president of arena tony saka right tony saka. Tony saka. Yes. when he was the president um he implemented an idea to put the the shot for five years, you don't get pregnant. And the priority were young girls, maybe 15 to 20, and women that have five children or more in a really bad. So then they were giving the free injections and they didn't accept them. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to. No, thank you, no, thank you. So. That's a problem. Imagine how many more babies are in the street right now. When I was when I was when I was single, when I was not a father, I felt very sad when I saw a mother with a baby in the street. Now I feel very sad and angry. and angry because, you know, how can you use a baby to get money? It's, do you know, oh, well, yeah. So there's a lot of things. Maybe we need a, um, oh, you know what? The, the best kill all the mareros, man. That's it. That's a good start. Kill them, no jail, kill them. I think I, we need to more education for the kids, for the parents. Yeah, that's true. But you know what? Honestly, I don't think that will ever finish because no government will ever change the education system in El Salvador because... Yeah, yeah exactly. But uh, of the beginning, it's at the broken family, right? Yes. Uh, when 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 you fail or when others people fail, uh, the broken family is very different because uh, uh, you you feel uh, uh, alone sometimes. Yeah. Uh, in yeah. different problems, mm -hmm. and then yeah. they yeah. continue the the violence. And the mother but you know, goes yeah, to the it's other. true. It's true because because but I think I think that that before everybody said, oh yeah, pobrecito mareros, you know, I mean they yeah. come from broken families, blah blah. But but also many many hardworking people came from broken family too. So I, I think, think you, you need good I, principles. I think uh, the country need to equal law for all. Because you 
see the news and I see the Marero in jail. It today before is free. I, I, you know, honestly, in my, in my opinion, I think El Salvador needs to stop religions. Religions control people too much. I'm not saying don't believe in God, no, but the problem is that um, some things are still a taboo. A, tab a, a taboo, you know, like sometimes you see a, a boy go to a, to a pharmacy, you know, he's scared. Can I have a condom, please? Or a girl <laughs> buying a condom. Yes, I mean, it's a taboo. Nowadays? Here. Yes, but I, you know, I don't think a father will talk to his daughter about sex or a mother talk to her son about sex because they, they, they prefer to ignore. Yeah, no, 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 that's it's bad. It's like a cousin. Yes, it's very bad. Either, either in the schools, it's not like a... a it's plain simple. Se sexual, huh? I studied, I studied in the United States. I remember I studied some years. I was in the sixth grade. And I remember they sent a letter to my house in the sixth grade. Your son will have sex education from Monday to Friday next week. It's not a permission or anything. No. Era uh, FYI for your information. Your son will have educate, sex education. Man, the Latinos, the Mexicans, and, and, and Salvadoreños, the Latinos, they went to the schools. Hi, why is that possible? You can't teach my son about that. And that's where the religion influences because, you know, oh my God, that's impossible. And the school said, hey, I'm sorry, we're not religious. <laughs> Your son will, if you, if you want, don't send your son to school that week, but there will be sex education class. Teacher. So, yes. In that my children's school, they. You're on mute. You're on mute. <laughs> Sorry. In the, in my children's school. Yes. They had a book about the sexualidad. Is es una materia. It's good. It's very good. It's a subject. Yeah, I think I think it's very important. It's very good. Oh, but we need to do many many things to change. But we need to finish all the politicians we have right now. We need total different new politicians. Yes. For, you know, new, new faces, new faces, maybe. But that's, that's the thing, to change, to do this. Um, if you're getting married, I say, you know, to be married, if, if you ask me, like, for example, David Hernandez, you tell me, hey, teacher, I want to get married. What do you recommend? And I say, okay, hey, um, <laughs> I recommend you first, don't get married. No, mentiras, no. You know, I say, okay, to be married, you need to have extremely good communication with your spouse. If you don't have communication, you will have problems. To be a, to be a father, you need to, you need to be ready <laughs> for everything. There is no book. There is no book that tells you how to be a father. You just need to be prepared for everything. Yes. I, yes or no, Orlando, are you a father? Yes, all right. Uh, do you, have you ever received vomit and everything? Like, blah, 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 blah. Oh, like oh. Yeah. And peace. That, that, hmm? Everything. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. I know. I don't remember that, right? <laughs> yes. I yeah. said yes. <laughs> okay. Um. Maylin. 
Yes. Do you know the Atkins diet? No. You don't? You never heard of the Atkins diet? Has anybody ever heard of the Atkins diet? No. Yes, it's for a medical situation. Okay, so uh, what do I need to do to have... There's something special in about the Atkins diets. You only need to do one thing. What is the only thing you need to do? I don't remember. I think it's eating protein. Um, oh, there you are, if I may. I'm Google it. <laughs> no, in the Atkins diets, the only thing you need to do is not eat carbohydrates. Oh, mm -hmm. You can eat a complete chicken, mm -hmm. but no rice, no no carbs, tortilla, no carbs. No mm -hmm. and you know, it works, it works. I have a friend that for like 10 years, he goes on, he gets fat and then suddenly skinny for the Atkins diet. But he, he eats like crazy. He eats everything, but except carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. So showing a purpose, the only thing you need to do is not eat carbs. But it's so difficult. Yes, it is. Can it's you imagine like to... carne asada with no rice or tortilla to start? That's impossible, man. It's <laughs> diabetes. No. Diabetes. Okay. No, no, it's, an, it's called the Atkins diet. What and is the I, meaning for this word? Atkins, I think it was a he doctor. Was a doctor. Uh -huh. And yeah. he, he, invented, he invented this diet because he said, it's like when somebody was very fat and they needed to operate that person, it was a it was a quick way for that person to lose weight, mm -hmm. so he put him on that diet. He says no carbs for one mm -hmm. month, nothing, not one bread, nothing, no carbs and sugar. I think no carbs, so then you can lose weight, so I can operate you. It was Doctor Atkins. It's a little dangerous, I hear, but mm. yes, it's not healthy to do it uh, more than than. Than a period, I don't know what is more a than term. the month. Uh huh. Yes. But, but now the trendy diet is the keto. It's all is almost the same. You you know you keto can't diet. Eat. Keto uh -huh. diet. What is yeah, that? Yeah, but that's more balance balanceado. It's it's almost the same. Just you can eat you. Uh, no sugars, no, 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 nothing sweet, and no carbs. Oh yeah, similar. Yeah, you know, but I like those diets. I don't like those diets that give you a menu because it says, okay, Monday you have to eat prune, one apple, and then toronja, and then things that come on, man. Something I want to find in my refrigerator. <laughs> you know, one ounce of water, one ounce. Two ounces of, of, of blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's frustrated. <laughs> yes. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't follow the, the order. It's like, oh. Yeah. Have you seen the diets from the Seguro Social? No. no. It's so funny. They give you a list <laughs> of things you can eat. I remember they gave that to my father. Oh, you have this and this. So here, you, you are prohibited. You can't eat this. I promise you everything we eat is in that in that list. And I remember my father, he says, excuse me, doctor, what can I eat? Can I, I mean, because everything, it was like, you can't eat fruit, no sé qué. you can't eat eggs, you can't eat rice, you can't eat bread, you can't eat tortillas, you can't eat cheese, you can't eat beans. You, it's like everything. So what can I eat? <laughs> it was funny though. Yeah. Okay, but do you have any questions right now describing a purpose? All right, but you know what to do now, describing a purpose. Remember yesterday, David told us that to be a system engineer, you need to, 
You need to pass 45 subjects, I think. 47. 47 subjects, wow. Yes, uh, Mirna, we don't know <laughs> what you need to do to get the Dewey. <laughs> oh yeah, you need to go with your mother and father and you need to make an appointment. And most importantly, you need to make, um, you need to make the, oh, you know what I recommend you? Start making your signature. Start practicing your signature because it's going to be yeah. your signature the rest of your life. I have my signature already. All right, cool. All right, let's see what's next here. Knowledge check. For a health club to attract new people, what do they need to do? You need to hire a talented chef. It's a good idea to offer desserts too. You need to keep with the latest styles. It needs to have great music and lightning. It has to offer latest types of equipment. It has to provide that useful one. information. This one. Number one. It has I to think, offer the latest. I think that it's, the, I don't know. It, I have a question. Does Herba Life still exist? Yes. 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 Oh, man, those are good salespeople. Yeah, for, Herbalife is a health club, right? I remember yes. that they, they invite you yes. to eat pizza. My personal opinion about Herbalife is a uh, secta. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, no, but they have they have good marketing. Because I remember they invite you to eat. Did it happen to me? It, it happened to my wife. And I told her, that's like a pyramid scam. Yes, yes. No, no, good. they're very nice. They, they, they gave me a that's coupon so we can all have a reunion and eat lunch because the, the girl, she's very nice. No, man, she's not nice. She's going to sell to you the product. No, no. Look, she's going to take you to eat pizza, eat all the pizza you want, and then she's going to say, do you like the pizza? Yes. Do you know that you can eat pizza and not get fat? Really? How? Herbalife. <laughs> yes. 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 And that's what happened. And I said, I told you. <laughs> yeah, but it, it is a cult. <laughs> okay. In order to run a profitable restaurant, what do you need to do? Yeah, you know, in my opinion, more than one is possible. It's a good idea yes. to offer desserts too. You need to keep yes. with the latest stuff. Mm -hmm. They're all pretty much. But okay, let's do a talented chef. To establish a successful new dance club, what do you need? It it needs to have, have a great lighting. Music. Lightning. 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 For a coffee bar to succeed, offer desserts. It's a good idea to offer desserts. Desserts too, all right. In order for a magazine to succeed, I think that is the last one, yeah. It has to provide useful information. Good. Yes. You know what is a good magazine? Really, really don't laugh. It's Playboy. Playboy. No, no. It has it has very good articles. It has it has. It's not it's not only the pictures. <laughs> no, but no. I remember because um, it has it has very good articles. You know, they talk about society, politics. Young as some, you know, and sometimes they show women, but that's not that's not sometimes. the objective. Yes. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> to run a successful clothing boutique. You need to keep up. Yes, yeah, that. Latest styles. I think the one is wrong. I have, it has to no, offer, one is, it has to offer the latest types of, of climate. Yeah. 
What? Requirement. Requirement. Uh, right. How can I say um ante penúltima? La penúltima, sorry. Okay. Second. Yeah. Repeat. Second. Second. To last. Second to last. Second. Okay. To last. Yep. We're correct here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Next, it says in this unit, you will learn related uh, vocabulary. Blah, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> in this unit, you will learn vocabulary related to success. This will help you express ideas. Let's see, let's have a success. Hi, what qualities are important for success? Listen to the following list of adjectives. They will help you describe qualities you feel are most important. Fashionable, gorgeous, industrious, muscular. Okay, look, this, this is really adjectives. These are positive adjectives. So you know what fashionable is? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Um, with with all respect, uh, really, with all respect, um, gay people are very fashionable. Yes. yes. Gay boys and gay girls—they're no. I, I think gay boys are more fashionable. <laughs> what is gorgeous? Very beautiful. Guapo. Guapo. Linda. It, it, it's like amazing. Uh, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. But yes, gorgeous is a beautiful person. It's, it's just beautiful. Very. It can be a person or an object. Okay. Okay. It can be for men or women. Usually women go, oh man, your dress is so gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. You have gorgeous eyes. What is industrious? Industrious. I don't know. <laughs> what, what do you think it is? I don't know. In industrious? I don't know that word. I translate and say industriosa. That means, what is industriosa? I don't know. Industriosa. I think that it's a curious person, but I don't know. Okay. Industrious comes from industry. So that means that you're a very hardworking person. Like, like a shop. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you work very hard, but you're successful. Yes, but you are successful. Oh. You are rich, but you're the like you're like American people, right? Yes, it's like a real estate agents, man. They're very industrious. That's a very good business in the United States. But they're they're very, you know. But they make a lot of money because they they don't they don't have a salary. So um, so you can imagine. They, I mean, they they make commissions. They make. Fifteen thousand, twenty thousand dollar commissions. Okay, what is muscular? Musculous. Yes. Women, do you like muscular men? Mm, no. In my case, no. All right, men, do you like muscular women? Oh. Yes, I don't like a woman who has more muscle than me. 
Maybe it is. But <laughs> not the most. <laughs> slender. What is slender? I don't know. Slender is como like um, delgado. Elena, you're mid. Like a skinny. It's like yeah. um, it's like como elegante, como uh, it's slender. It's um, it's belto. Uh huh. Yes, it's belto. That would be it. Next, we have clever. Intelligent. Intelligent. Yes. Smart. Astuto. I would say astuto. Yeah. Because some people are very smart, but they're not clever. Books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like it's like to play dominoes. You gotta be clever to play chess. You don't need to be intelligent. Because to be intelligent, you need to have a a master's, a doctor degree, and blah 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 blah. That's being intelligent. But being clever is like, hmm. You know, it has to do with, you have to do the right movements when you play exactly. checkers in the right time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you got to be clever. You, clever is, oh, who am I playing with? You read, you read that person's thought, mind. Okay, now we have charming. Sweet. Charming is a person that leaves the best impression in the room. Everybody likes that person because that person is charming. Encantadora. Exactly. Boy or girl. Really, I think I am charming. Yes, you are. No, because, you know, my, my wife told me that everybody in her family loved me when they met me. <laughs> oh, he's charming. But of course, I was being hypocrite. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't being hypocrite. I was being, I was being a good boy that day. Hello. You, hi. you uh, being uh, like clever. The moment, the moment I was being clever. Yeah. Yes. I was being clever and it worked because my wife said, oh, my family thinks you're charming. Okay, next You're we playing have playing the role of Prince Prince Charming. <laughs> Prince Charming, yes. <laughs> next we have knowledgeable. Experto. Do you know? Um, do you watch Big Bang Theory? By Sheldon. Sheldon, he's knowledgeable. <laughs> he knows everything. That is knowledgeable, a person that knows everything. Persuasive, I'm sorry, persuasive. What is persuasive? Persuasive? Yes. Yes. Sometimes I wish my mother could have been more persuasive with me, but she was, she was very, um, she was very passive with me. <laughs> you know like oh that's good you want to study no okay don't study you want to study yes okay good study yeah she's so, really smart no no she was very uh, complex she was very passive I, I don't think she really it's not that she didn't care she just I want now I wish that she would have been more persuasive, like study, study, study. No, why? Why do, okay, you don't want to study? Very good. Tell me why. Do you know the consequences? Do you you know things like that? But I will be persuasive with my son. I'm not going to obligate him, no. But I will let him know what happens. That what what is the consequences of everything persuasive what is tough okay that's what i wanted my mom to be i want her to be more tough tough whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hanging tough hanging tough <laughs> what is tough 
like if you are uh, strong. Strong, uh, maybe are not a not harder strong. person. No, but you are strong, but not physically. It's, it's uh, I mean, when and your feelings, like for example, you, you can get over uh, some hard situation. Yes. Uh, easily. Yes. Tough is that like tough. You have to be tough. Life is tough. Yes, life is tough. So you have to be ready. You know, tough is something hard, something difficult. Yes. Y no sé por qué está aquí porque really it's not a positive. It's not. It's not a positive adjective compared to yeah, fashionable. like a situation of of life yes you know you just say you gotta be ready because you have to be tough are you tough mm -hmm. enough oh, oh. yeah <laughs> all right next affordable native wars maybe and money In money. For example, right now I think gasoline is almost four dollars. Yes, it's expensive. In 2015, I remember 2015 is left of five dollars. Yeah. No. Yeah, but but so it's very expensive. Pero aún is affordable. Yeah. But what happens when gasoline is fifteen dollars the gallon? Many people will take public transportation because gasoline is not affordable anymore. Yeah. Yes, like cheese. Cheese in this moment is very expensive, right? <laughs> yeah, man. It's, it's, uh, yeah. But you know what I don't like? Because when the cheese, ojalá, eventually it will go down again. The pupusas, the precios, they will stay there. Ahí se van a quedar. Hoy van en 70 porque está caro el queso. Ok, good. Pero cuando ya baja. Mire abajo el queso. Sí, pero mi mamá dice que... El chicharrón is his pants. Yes. The tomato. The tomato. <laughs> But that's true. <laughs> oh my God! Let me tell you a I know. story. I the avocados is so I, expensive. I know the pupuseria place in New New Cuscatlan that they they sold the the sauce of the tomatoes is ridiculous, right? Oh my Look, gosh! My yeah. father, my father lives kilometer. For to Los Planes. And one day, his wife, she was making, I don't know what she, I forgot she was making, but she needed to go to El Molino, right? So she told me, David, give me a ride to the Molino. Okay, so I took her. It was on the road to Los Planes. When I was there waiting, I saw, a man, I saw a pickup come. I promise you, this is true. I saw it with my eyes. A barrel, barrel, barril, full of tomatoes. Some tomatoes were rotten because it smelled bad. Podridos. No washing or anything. Boom. And then in the next, amoler fue lo. That's the pupusa sauce. Yo, como soy no, metido. But, oh my God. Yes. Como soy metido, it's I told him. Because, because when you cook in the, 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 the wrong uh, tomato sauce, is is it's a smell. Yeah. It's a, sm a smell. I uh, told that I, person, hey. But I was about that. See him and say, what the fuck? <laughs> I, I, I was, I'm sorry, but I was, oh my God. Yeah. 
en Hawái. <risa> y le pregunté, ah, ¿tienen pupusería? Sí, me dice, ¿cuál? Ah, y arriba está. He didn't want to tell me because, I don't know, maybe my face was, I was too obvious para nunca ir a esa pupusería. <risa> No, bueno, really, bueno. it's like, it's like, I promise you, it's like he went to the market y I, I guess los podridos están más baratos, so like all that for a dollar, but he, I, even maybe rocks went inside, he didn't clean anything, he just, mm. you know, and como él me dijo, igual se va a hervir, me dice, okay. So, Come on. He, this was like three years ago, and after that, I really think about the sauce when I eat it. <laughs> when I eat it. But be careful. I don't know the name of the pupuseria, but I remember the pickup. <laughs> All right. Okay, so next we have, oh yeah, affordable, so attractive. What do you find attractive in a man, Jenny? Can you repeat that? Yes. What do you find attractive in a man? Something you like in a man? Mm. Like the hands or the voice? Mm. <laughs> no lo sé decir en inglés, pero... Beard? Su presentación? No, me oh. gusta. No sé cómo explicarlo. Okay, so no I físico, find... Pero... I find... Repeat. I find... His presentation. His presentation. Attractive. Attractive. Awesome. Very good. What about you, Rafael? What do you find attractive in a woman? Um, her hair. I like brunettes. Oh, okay, good. So I find the hair attractive. The, the hair attractive, yes. Re repeat the complete sentence, please. I find the hair attractive. I find the hair attractive. Awesome. What about you, Maylin? What do you find attractive in a man? I, I like the men look um, gorgeous. No, no, but remember, why? Well, yeah, that's <laughs> good. But listen to my expression. What do you find attractive? I find... What do you find attractive in a man? I find attractive uh, sentimientos. His feelings. Feelings. Okay, good. I find attractive the feelings. All right, what about you, David Hernandez? What do you find attractive in a woman? Uh, I find attractive his hand, uh, her hands. Her hands. Uh -huh. Okay, good. You know, before, before, when I was maybe 20, I used to find attractive when a woman smoked. I liked it. I'm, wow, that's very attractive. Now I hate it. <laughs> Is I find that very, lo contrario, unattractive. A woman that smokes. All right. Mirna, do you find those Bad Bunny do you find Bad Bunny attractive? No, only your call curls. I love it. He has curls? Colochas. Oh, you like curls? Curly. Yeah. Curly hair. Curly hair. Okay, cool. All right, good. Thank you. So that, that's another way of expressing att attractive. So you're not talking about, for example, Jenny, she's not talking about a specific man she likes. She's talking about what she finds attractive in a man. All right. Just in case your husband is listening. <laughs> like Rafael, you know, he says he finds brunette attractive. What about you, Francisco Santos? What do you find attractive in a woman? find attractive woman who rides motorcycle. Oh, nice. And curly hair too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, nice. 
Una Kawasaki Ninja. Oh, nice. <laughs> you like outgoing women. What I find attractive in a, in a woman is a good conversation. Yes. Oh, man, that's that's my... Oof. You know, you, you go and... Um, you go have coffee with that person and talk about anything or everything. And you never stop talking. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. You know, you start talking about movies and then you go to music and then you go in the past. And what country do you want to visit? Oh, I wish I could go to France and visit the museum, go to Greece and look at the architecture and blah. Oh man, that's, that's fascinating. I, I think I find that very attractive. Yeah. But imagine, oh, hi, so what do you like? Oh, man, I wish I could go to Europe. Oh, good. Yeah, me too. Why? Uh, where do you want to go? France. I love to go to France. Why do you want to go to France? Oh, because the shoes in France are so beautiful. <sighs> you know, like, cuenta, por favor. No, I'm joking. Yet. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. All right, so we have next, entertaining. In the mornings, I listen to Pencho y Aida. It's entertaining. It's Me not too. Pencho y Aida, Sometimes it's the tribute. I, yes. I, I listen to the, the, there the word significator, right? Oh, yeah, it's not Pencho y Aida, it's, it's Pencho La Tribu. I'm sorry, Orlando? Yeah, I hear, I hear his guys. Maybe you listen to me every morning. Sometimes you digo chistes. David! That's uh, me. Yeah. I, I think I'm the only David. Uh -huh. They know me. Uh -huh. I always say jokes. Okay. <laughs> but uh, okay, I listen. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. I always listen to. Uh, it's entertaining. Okay, informative. Yeah, it's a. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a. It's a really young. In the morning. Yeah, because you know I drive maybe for forty minutes and it's entertaining to listen to them because they make me laugh. It's like, la palabra exactly. del día or like chistes, los chistes, <laughs> like you know. So I, I mean, you know, I'm laughing. <laughs> All right, next we have um, informative. Informative. You know, some people are very informative. Like Chambroso? Or oh, explain plots. Yeah, una forma como. I don't know. A person is, that oh, you... knows a lot. Yes. But not as an annoying as speaking. Uh huh. No. Yeah. Most. No. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. It's like be careful yeah. with him. No, no, lo va a agarrar de tonto. He's very yeah. informative. <laughs> Never stopping. <laughs> it's like um, aunque me cae mal ese hombre, pero Mauricio Funes is very informative. A su favor. <laughs> she get. The she get his gift all right. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Next, well written. Have you read El Alquimista from Paulo Coelho? Or have you read Cien Años de Soledad? De Soledad? You have not read Cien Años de Soledad, David? <laughs> Mirna? I don't remember, honestly. No, you have but maybe. that book that book you will never forget. It's a very beautiful, it's a very well written book. I I know who is the uh, the 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 written, but I don't remember the the trauma. Yeah, it's like it's like um um cual dije primero oh el alquimista is from Paulo Coelho. I think I read all his books, but if you read all of Paolo Coelho's books, it's like mana. All the songs are good, but all similar. <laughs> the same history. Or... He, or the, sa the same writing, but 
The Alchemista is an excellent book. Yeah, man, that book, it's a well-written book. Mm. Well-written. Okay, class, uh, we'll continue tomorrow, all right? Teacher, I want to ask you something. Sure, Kalena. Do you, um, uh, I don't know how to say, upload the, the yesterday class? No, you know, I received a, I received a, a message today. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I did upload it, but it didn't go to the to the channel. Yes, so, because um, I, I, I get they, in and I and... No, um, lo van a cambiar porque creo que la dirección quedó mala. Ah, okay. Se fue a otra clase. Oh. Pensé que ya lo habían cambiado. Or maybe they have. But it will be uploaded. Okay? Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Have a very good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.